Hi, my name is Sonia Whitehouse. I'm from the North New Zealand Conference, representing New Zealand here at the TED Campery. Hello, my name is Megan Tooley, and I'm also from the North New Zealand Conference in the South Pacific Division, and we're really glad to be here at the TED Campery here in Hungary, 2023. What prompted you to be here in Sopran? I saw an advert about the, the uh, theme song competition and I looked at it and I thought, oh, I want to be there, that looks like fun. And so that started the ball rolling for us to attend here. And because she wanted to go, this is actually my third TED Campery. So for those of you that remember, I was um, of Finland in 2010. I attended there and I was also 2014 in the Netherlands. Uh, so I really enjoy serving here with the team in TED um, and this year being uh, hosted in Hungary. It's wonderful to be here with you all. In the North New Zealand Conference, you work in Pathfinder Ministries. In what roles? Mm. I am a Deputy District Director, so I am a training to serve as a District Director in my area. And yeah. uh, So I'm a District Director, I've been one for over 10 years now, and that for the British ones is the equivalent of an Area Coordinator. So our conferences are quite sig have significant numbers, and so we are conference representatives in our local area. So we both do the... Um, we. Uh, mentor our club leaders and we join camps and we do the investitures at the end of the year for the class pins and the honours. So that's what we do as representatives of the conference. What do you love about Pathfinder Ministries? I love that it is designed to lead our young people to God and if they can just get it it's not so much about the camping, it's not so much about the adventure, it's about adventure with Jesus. And if they can just grasp that, if they just can see that they can really change the world, starting in their own clubs, in their own local towns, you don't have to go big first, you start with who you are. And if our kids can grasp that, they can really go out and make a big difference. Uh, for me, uh, so our roles are voluntary in our area, so we do it because we love it. Um, I've been involved in Pathfinders and Adventurers uh, for 30 years now, and so I, as a small uh, country church, it showed me a bigger place of the world. Pathfinders is a full uh, holistic curriculum with outdoor adventure, um, spiritual growth, personal development, uh, leadership, and church history, and this where as well showing about our God and I see it as uh, like God rolling up his sleeves and being real with each of us growing our relationship and building together. What have you learned from here to take back to New Zealand? Oh. Well we are planning a campery in January 2024 and one of the ideas that I loved is the street food evening I love the market idea. Um, I really like their pioneering, how they build their gates and their entrance ways. Um, that was definitely a highlight and I think that's something I would like to take home. Danish pancakes! Yay! Yes, <laughs> and also uh, this was made for me um, by the uh, Dutch uh, one of my Dutch uh, colleagues mm -hmm. in the Dutch camp and so learning to do uh, not only knots as a um, an honour or something we do as a one-off actually making it practical and the pioneering as well. I love all the different uh, cultures and uh, languages in New Zealand uh, we pretty much speak English so this is um, an opportunity for me to be humble and learn somebody else's language where I am about two years old saying hello trying to get the pronunciation it's just uh, a wonderful opportunity connect under one God and finally if you have a message to the church to help our pathfinders grow in faith what would you say you have to have a personal relationship with God you can't rely on your parents' faith. You can't rely on your leader's faith or anyone else's. In the Bible, um, especially in the Old Testament, they often mention the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And my message to my pathfinders is it has to be the God of Sonia. It has to be the God of Megan. It has to be the God of you as an individual. We cannot be saved in groups. You need to get to know Jesus. He's anxious to get to know you. Uh, mine, I come also from a very serving family. And so often the serving 
can be just another thing and another thing we do. And I have beautiful hearts in my parents and I learned to do this too. But who are we serving and why are we serving? Jesus took time out on a boat, going out in the wilderness. We do that in Pathfinders. We get out into nature to go and have time by ourselves of such a giving, serving community. If we're not connected with God, then what are we doing it for? Uh, So remembering that he is, and whenever there is a problem, I've just had a prayer with someone who's lost their wallet, but you know, God knows where that is. But even if he doesn't reveal where it is, or if the person, another person has it and hasn't surrendered it by choice, then I know that God will bless that person. But bringing it to God is what is all about. The, the bringing our struggles, bringing our frustrations, bringing our joys and coming back and celebrating too. If it's um, connected with God, has it full circle and we can be truly at peace. Sonia, mm. Megan, thank you ever so much for sharing with TV News. Mm. Bless you in your ministry. Thank you thank so you. much. Mm. For Love from New Zealand. Mm-hmm.